Welcome to an example of a one-sample hypothesis test involving a student t-test. On average, a banana will last 6.9 days from the time it is purchased in the store to the time it is too rotten to eat. Is the mean time to spoil different if the banana is hung from the ceiling? The data shows results of an experiment with 16 bananas that are hung from the ceiling. Assume the distribution of the population is normal. So here we have the data, and we're asked to perform a hypothesis test with a 10% level of significance, which means alpha is equal to 0 0.10. First question is, from this study, we should use which test? Because the population standard deviation is unknown, we use a student t-test for a population mean, or for short, just a t-test for a population mean. Next, we're asked to state the null and alternative hypotheses. And again, we're testing to see whether the mean time to spoil is different if the banana is hung from the ceiling. The given population mean is 6.9, which means the null hypothesis, h sub zero, is mu equals 6.9. And if it is different, the alternative hypothesis, h sub a or h sub one, is mu doesn't equal 6.9. Notice how because of the doesn't equal, we are going to have a two-tailed test. Next, we're asked to give and find the test statistic. And again, because the population standard deviation is unknown, the test statistic is a t-score, which we will find in a moment. And we're also asked to find the p-value. So now let's go to the TID4, determine the t-score, as well as the p-value. Before we perform the t-test, though, we do need to enter the data, which I've already done. To enter data, press stat, enter and I've already entered the data in L1. And now to perform the t-test, press stat, right arrow to tests, select option two for t-test. The input is the data list, so we need to make sure that data is selected. Down, the population mean is 6.9. Down, the data is in L1, which is correct. We are not using a frequency table, and therefore the frequency is one down. The alternative hypothesis is mu doesn't equal 6.9, and therefore we select it doesn't equal, which I've already done, arrow down to calculate, and press enter. And we have a t-score of approximately 2.66, and a p-value of approximately 0 0.0179. Let's go ahead and record this. If we take a look at the graph on the right, for a two-tailed test when alpha is equal to 0 0.1, notice the t-scores are 1.753 and a negative 1.753, where the shaded regions are the rejection regions. And notice how a t-score of 2.66 or a t-score of negative 2.66 would fall into the rejection region, and therefore we are going to reject the null hypothesis. But let's also compare the p-value to alpha. Again, where the p-value is 0 0.0179 and alpha is 0 0.10. Notice how the p-value is small compared to the alpha. And since the p-value is low, the null must go, or more formally, because the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, or because alpha is greater than or equal to the p-value, we reject the null hypothesis. So based upon this, we reject the null hypothesis. And for the last part, we want to state the final conclusion. Because we are rejecting the null hypothesis that mu equals 6.9, the data suggests the population mean is significantly different from 6.9 at alpha equals 0 0.10. So there is statistically significant evidence to conclude that the population mean time that it takes for bananas to spoil if they are hung from the ceiling is different from 6.9, which is the third option. I hope you found this helpful.